Christian Dowling is an entertainment photographer based in Los Angeles until very recently. Although a successful working professional, he still considers himself an amateur at heart. Currently based in Bangkok, we recently caught up with Christian at the Siam Paragon, lurking about the Nikon Day exhibition, where he was a guest speaker. He was kind enough to give me some insights and advice on what it takes to make it in this cutthroat industry. Well, firstly, I'm a big Nikon user, so I love Nikon. Uh, my assistant, who obviously knows that I use Nikon professionally, uh, had heard about the event. Uh, somehow we got in touch with Nikon and Nikon said, yes, let's do it. Uh, they'd like me to be involved and uh, met with them and, you know, here I am. The hardest part of the industry is having to, I guess, deal with the restrictions placed on the photographer. Quite often I don't get to do exactly what I want to do. I'm placed under, you know, I have to wait a long period of time before I do the shoot. I go there, I prepare for hours. Quite often the shoot could be anywhere from 30 seconds to three minutes. Uh, and I've got a, a, I've got literally a publicist, an agent, a manager, all telling me how they want the photograph to be taken. Sometimes you kind of feel like this puppet, you know. I don't, uh, I don't get to do exactly what I want to do creatively, and that can be really challenging, uh, which is good, but very frustrating. Most ridiculous on the job memory would probably be shooting Katy Perry's tour. Uh, her North American tour last year it was crazy. Um, I did four cities with her in like three days, or the four cities in five days. Uh, traveling around, trying to get myself to one place to another. Just logistically it was difficult, but then when you're in the concert and I'm shooting, I do have free range. I'm allowed to go anywhere I want to go. I can go on stage, I can go right at the back of the stadium, I can get up high, I can be front of stage. And you know, it's fun, it's exciting, but man, the fans were crazy. I had to deal with Katy Perry's fans. Now, they're great fans, they love Katie, but it's just so difficult to deal with when they just want to have a great time and I'm trying to get my shots and they're bumping me around and that was kind of ridiculous. Well, I think social networking is literally dictating what camera manufacturers are now having to think about when they're creating new cameras. I think the biggest thing is that cameras are not selling that well right now in terms of small compact cameras because of the iPhone. And the reason why the iPhone is doing so well besides the fact that it's a great product, but even you know other Android devices is because people can take pictures and share instantly. And that feature alone is extremely, it's the number one most valuable feature I think to, to most people wanting to share pictures. So I think what I see is in the future is that camera manufacturers are going to be making cameras that allow the use of SIM card technology or, or at least Wi-Fi technology or some kind of technology where they can take the picture and literally share the picture instantly through either Facebook um, or uh, Flickr or whatever programs they choose to use, Instagram. I think it's really, really important and um, you know, it's a good thing but at the same time too I, I kind of enjoyed when people were, you know, they'd wait a while to get the pictures what they did with film but this is digital so you know, what do you do? People want to share instantly. The number one advice I would have to people out there who want to improve their photography is that you need to learn from your mistakes. You need to learn from your failures and you need to step out of your comfort zone. You know, doing the same type of photography all the time can get a little bit stale and, you know, repeating the same mistakes too doesn't help. And if you're not sure about what you're doing wrong, go out there and seek advice from professionals. Not necessarily the internet. There are people out there who are trying to learn photography through the internet, and it can be a real it can be a real problem because there's a lot of misinformation on the internet. So it's really about pushing the envelope, pushing your photography skills, and understanding what you're doing wrong, and doing your best to find out exactly what you can do better the next time. I'm starting up a, uh, a company in Thailand. I can't talk too much about it but I'm very excited about it. It's something for the whole global photographic industry and uh, it will be along the lines of being able to share pictures and do things with photographic information that uh, people really want to do. And it's a really big project that I've been working on for, in my mind at least, for the last couple of years. Uh, but I'm also going to be doing some photographic workshops in June and there's going to be a big charity element to it as well. So I hope people you know, really get on board, uh, get interested in it, and there'll be more information about that upcoming pretty soon. There is a huge increase in the amount of 
amateurs now that want to take it to the next level. They want to make a career. You don't make a career by working for free. You just don't. You know, you can assist for free. You can help photographers out for free to learn. But when you take on an assignment, you need to be paid because the minute you start doing it for free, clients get used to that. And at the end of the day, all it does is bring down the whole industry. So for people out there, understand what the industry rates are and charge accordingly. You know, at the end of the day, everyone's going to make a living and it's better for everyone that way. So that's what it is. Don't work for free. To find out more, you can go to Christian's website. And yes, I did bring a Canon to a Nikon party. <laughs>